Thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, I want to take a minute to tell you about a new app called Get Upside that we at the Rideshare Guy have been using to save up to 25 cents per gallon on gas. Pretty awesome. The app is completely free to use. All you have to do is upload your receipt after you buy gas and then cash gets added to your account. The cash adds up over time and you can deposit your funds straight to your PayPal account whenever you want. Some drivers are using GetUpside to save $50 per week just buying gas from their favorite gas stations. So now listen closely because this deal gets even better. I'm going to give you a short code that'll get you an additional $0.15 cents per gallon sign-up bonus. So you just download the GetUpside app from the App Store, open the app, and enter the promo code. It's WQ8JR. Now, another way you can get your 15 cent per gallon sign-up bonus is to visit the rideshareguy.com forward slash getupside app. That's G-E-T and then upside, U-P-S-I-D-E, and then app, A-P-P. Check it out. All right, let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Well, hey, everybody, it is Jay, and I'm really looking forward to this episode in which I'm going to share with you some really fantastic movies. So I love movies, and I watch a lot of movies, and I've seen most of the movies that are out. <clears throat> and in this episode, I'm going to share with you my five favorite films uh, as we go heading towards the Oscars, the Academy Awards, which are on February 9th, which is my favorite TV event of the year. I like to watch all the Best Picture nominations, the Best Actor, Actress, Supporting Actor, and Actress, and uh, Director. So I've still got some movies to watch. But in this uh, short episode of Rideshare Dojo... I'm going to share with you five really fa fantastic, really powerful, wonderful movies that I think you will enjoy. They'll make you laugh. They'll make you cry. They'll make you think. And, uh, and they're all excellent. And I'm sure uh, they will be up for some kind of an award come February 9th. The first movie is called Pain and Glory. So Pain and Glory is a Spanish film made by Pedro Amadovar, and it's a story loosely based on his life. The main character is a, a movie director played by Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas. Uh, Penelope Cruz is also in it. She plays his uh, mother when he was a, a young boy. And it's just a, a story about addiction it's a story about creativity. It's a story about friendship, about love, about a mother-son relationship, about growing up and the impacts uh, that people, different people make on our lives. It's about pain. Uh, he literally has tremendous uh, debilitating pain uh, in his body and uh, how, how you deal with that and what that does to a person. And, uh, it's, a, in the end, a very uplifting film and uh, really well acted by Antonio Banderas. He should definitely be up for an Academy Award for his performance. So pain and glory. Number two, uh, I just watched two days ago, and it was just fantastic. 
I was crying at the end. It's called Portrait of a Lady on Fire. This is a French film, and it is about a young woman who is a painter. She's commissioned to uh, go to this, it looks like a, an island, or at least a coast, coastal town, and uh, paint a portrait of a young woman uh, who looks to be the similar age as her. Uh, she's commissioned by the mother of the of the young woman, and uh, the movie just uh, takes place in this house and uh, on walks to the beach, uh, to the cliffside, and uh, it's between the two women. There's a there's a another young woman who's like the housekeeper there, and it just uh, shares their life over what seems to be about a week or two of their life and the huge impact they each had on each other. It's very uh, passionate and uh, sexy and uh, well-written. It's, uh, like I said, French with subtitles. And uh, boy, it just uh, surprised me how much I loved this film, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Okay, perhaps the, it's uh, of the five movies, there's two movies that I, I absolutely had to watch a second time. And this one I watched yesterday. And for the first time, I watched a movie and I just said, man, I'm just, I'm going to watch it again. And I actually, so I spent five hours watching this movie twice, twice in a row. And the movie is called Knives Out, Knives Out. It is such a good film. It is, uh, think of like the movie, uh, the, the, the game you play as a kid called Clue, you know, where you're like uh, Miss Marple in the study with the knife, right? where you're trying to figure out who did it, right? So it starts out with one, one uh, the patriarch of the family, uh, looks like he either committed suicide or he was killed. Daniel Craig plays the uh, very flamboyant detective. Uh, there's a housekeeper involved, and then there's the family. So Jamie Lee Curtis is a, is a daughter. Don Johnson is married to Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, Michael Shannon plays the younger son, uh, and there's uh, some other characters. It's uh, really, really great, and it's so smart. It is so smart because you think you know what's going on, and then there's the twist, and then you. Uh, oh, Chris Pratt is the other, uh, the other uh, main uh, son, and uh, <laughs> and. You know the movie's still got like an hour to go, and you think you got a pretty good fix on what's going to happen, and then it all just gets turned upside down, and then it goes to the end, and then it gets all turned upside down again, and it's uh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You will love Knives Out, so check that one out, absolutely. Number four is another movie that I've seen twice, and... Um, I'll probably watch it again because it's just such a pleasure to watch it. And that's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm a huge Quentin Tarantino fan ever since I saw Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction. I mean, this guy, Inglorious Bastards. I mean, he's just made some Kill Bill 1 and 2. I mean, this guy's like a hero. He's made so many fantastic movies. He's got this really interesting dialogue between the characters, a nice, uh, a nice mix of sex and violence in it. Um, it's great. And this movie does not disappoint. This movie is so good. It takes place over two days in 1969. Brad Pitt, of course, is in it with, um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, Margot Robbie has a smaller part in it, but mostly it's about these two guys and, uh, what happens over the course of a couple of days. Strongly recommend this movie. It is just so much fun. And, um, yeah, you're, you'll, you'll, you will love it. You think you know what's going on and you don't. And um, it's just got, it's just great. Fantastic. Can't say enough about it. Once upon a time in Hollywood. And number five is a Korean film called Parasite. Parasite. So it's interesting that three of the five movies that I'm recommending are from other countries and have uh, subtitles, right? Parasite. So Parasite is about two families in Korea. <clears throat> One is very wealthy, one is very, very poor. And the poor family, uh, one by one, they work their way into the life of the rich family. And it's fascinating how the poor family comes across as so competent 
uh, to the rich family, um, yet the poor family is poor and the rich family is rich. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to drink a little coffee right now. Hold on. But this movie is so intelligent. And and then it's kind of like somewhere in the middle. It just, again, it's like taking a chessboard and throwing all the pieces up in the air. This whole other thing happens. And then you're like, where's this going? And then you kind of figure out kind of where it's going. But then it changes all again. And uh, so it's a movie about class, obviously, classes, you know, the rich and the poor. And um, and for, for me, it was a lot about, um, you know, how you can be whatever you want, right? You, you, you can be poor, but you can also uh, be, be rich and, 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 or, or you can inhabit uh, the, 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 the rich. So it's, um, it's nothing, it's never what you think. I guess that's, that's kind of what this movie is about. It's, it's never what you think. It's really good really good. It will really make you think about um, how how one class treats another class, how you treat anybody that you meet based on what you think they own, right? It's, uh, it's uh, disturbing in some ways, uh, enlightening in other ways, but ultimately it's a very, very entertaining film. So that's it for this uh, episode. Five great movies as you prepare for the Academy Awards on February 9th. Again, they are Pain and Glory, the beautiful performance by Antonio Banderas, Portrait of a Lady on Fire, Knives Out, which would probably, if, if you were going to only watch one of these, that would be my number one choice for you, would be Knives Out, um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin Tarantino's masterpiece, and Parasite, just a fantastic uh, movie coming out of Korea. All right. All right. That's a wrap. Fist bump. To all of you drivers out there, you guys rock it out there every single day. I honor you. It's great uh, to be here with you. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. Be safe out there. This is Nomad Jay saying this episode is in the can. If you're thinking about starting an online business, definitely check out my website at nomadj.com where you can get my free ebook called What's Next? How to Do Online Work You Love from Anywhere in the World. That is nomadjay.com. I also do a daily one minute per day podcast called Nomad Daily in which I share different aspects of life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Creator is available wherever you get your podcasts. People are really liking it. Check it out. You just uh, subscribe and then every day you're just going to it's going to automatically load up and you're going to get the next episode, and you just listen for a minute to a minute and a half, and boom, you're done. And uh, it's great. I really enjoy doing that. All right, next episode, more news, interviews, all things Rideshare Dojo for drivers and all of us in the gig economy. I will do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater saying thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.